So your first year here, just what's it been like kind of getting used to college, you know, both on the field and, you know, baseball stuff, but also just getting used to being in college. Yeah, so I was in that academy for my last two years of high school, and this is what we did. We trained every day, three or four hours a day, and kind of similar scenarios. So being here, it's been a little bit more and a little bit of an adjustment, but pretty similar to where I was before, so I'm loving it. I've heard a lot of good things about you from players and coaches after so What's helped you get the ground running here at Miami the most? Yeah, I've been welcomed by the older guys. A lot of the older guys have made me feel like I'm at home. I've always wanted to be here. Talking to older guys before I came here even helped me a lot. So them them really helping me and guiding me through my freshman year has been a big help. What's the biggest adjustment you had to make you know, from high school now? I mean, I'm still the same player. There's not really an adjustment. I'm still focused. It brings the same energy, the same focus I had when I was high school. Uh, obviously, big shoes to fill at third base after Yo-Yo uh, goes, to the, goes to the pros. Uh, just is that something you think about or have thought about? You, you know, does it make any kind of like give any kind of feeling about that? I guess. Yeah, I mean, it has no effect on me at all. Me and Yo-Yo get along well, and I'm here. I'm my own. I'm myself. My own player. I'm Daniel Cuve. I got my own swing. I got my own throw. I got my <laughs> own feeling way. So I'm here to be myself and bring my own energy every day. Daniel, obviously you were drafted, but you elected to come here to Miami and said, what were some of the things you kind of took away from that process that you want to come and prove that, you know, you can do to the Major League Scouts this season? Yeah, I mean, it was a simple process for me. I know what I wanted going into the draft or coming here. Some things weren't met, so I decided to come here. And I'm very happy to be here. It's been a huge help for me. I mean, I've grown a lot, a lot more than I thought I would have you know, in a quick manner. And thanks to the coaches here. Yeah, and why is college baseball, why was that the best option for you, what, why, for your development, why do you feel like college baseball is for you? I mean, I really feel like in college we have a, a way more focus on winning and being a winning baseball club, where in the minors you kind of more have a developmental side of it. So being here and in a winning aspect of it is like huge, and I love that. I'm a, I'm a big winner, and I think the guys around here are, so I'm really excited for that. Daniel, what's the best piece of advice you ever got? What's it been like working with, with JD, with Coach Fenster, uh, since you got here? Yeah, Fenster has helped me tremendously on my defense, especially because that's something I've struggled with before. And JD has been a great help for me. He's been hard on me. He's been pushing me to be my best version of myself every day. And that's all I could ask for from the head coach. Anything else for Kuvi? Yeah, Dan, just your, your, your goals for yourself. You probably have high goals for yourself this year. Just, just what are you hoping to do, hoping to accomplish? This year. Of course, I mean, the freshman player of the year is the biggest goal I have for myself, so I'm looking forward to that. No, no nerves while your teammates are here looking at you while you're doing an interview. You're running over here for all eyes on you, man. You probably feel like Tupac right now. <laughs> nah, they're my boys. I'm with them at least six, seven hours a day, so, you know. <laughs> he doesn't know who Tupac is. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> You were at a point before.